I don't always talk about lighting, but when I do, it's for Science Alliance. Stay thirsty, my friends. Alright, welcome to another episode of Science Alliance. Today's topic of debate is all about lighting. I have the side of uh, LED lighting and then my friend NickMock007 is going to be uploading a video on his channel that talks about fluorescent lighting so you have to check that out if you want to get uh, both sides. Uh, to start off I do use a LED light on this tank it's the Finex Fugere Planet Plus and I've had it for quite a while on this tank before that I used T8 bulbs uh, on a lower a lower tech setup so I've never had experience with um, T5 high output uh, fluorescent bulbs or anything like that or even any other uh, LED fixture so I'm just going to go through um, some of the basic benefits of LED lighting and some of the reasons why it's becoming one of, one of the more popular options for uh, planted tank people so first, so first off is the fact that LED lighting is definitely more energy efficient compared to fluorescent lights or any other sources of lighting on your aquarium and that's going to save you a little bit of money in the long run probably nothing substantial unless you're using it on a ton of tanks or something like that uh, but just something to consider these also are really durable long-lasting uh, lights They're, you're not going to have to replace the bulb every six to twelve months like you do with fluorescent lighting and that's going to save you money as well uh, they produce less heat uh, which goes with that energy efficiency aspect um, and I think a really big benefit of these is just the look of them they're really thin really low profile they don't take away from the tank itself and uh, as you can see from above it's only a few inches wide and you can really see pretty much everything inside the tank from the top which is really nice you also get that shimmer effect people sort of like that with these LEDs and that's something you don't you don't get with the fluorescent lighting um, so it, it does look a lot better than having a huge light on top. Uh, next benefit is that you can achieve medium to high light with these guys nowadays. Maybe in the past when they, people were first starting to use these in their tanks, um, it was kind of hard to achieve uh, that high of light. But with this new technology, uh, you can get these uh, higher power levels even with taller tanks. Now this last benefit is pretty big. It's the fact that you can really focus in on a specific color or spectrum of light that you're going for. If you've ever seen the current uh, LED fixtures, you can do all sorts of cool um, lighting effects with that. But if I were to show you an example right now, uh, you can see on this Phoenix fixture they included or incorporated the reds along with the, uh, the whites. And that's what makes it the Planet Plus model uh, because plants utilize... Uh, light around or they photosynthesize the best at around 675 nanometers which is the red you see there and as well uh, they really like the dark blues and violet which is around 425 nanometers I believe so those are the prime areas for photosynthesis to occur and if you can really focus in on those you're going to get better growth uh, less algae because you'll be, be producing less yellows and greens which the plants don't really utilize as much and that just promotes uh, excess algae and stuff like that. So I really think those were the big benefits you have to realize when you're looking at LED lighting as a whole. Obviously if you're focusing in on a specific model from a specific company or brand, those are all going to vary in price, quality, color of light produced, uh, what they look like in general, features included, stuff like that. So you're definitely going to have to do your own research as far as that goes because that's a whole different story. But today I was really looking at the general benefits of LED lighting overall. So that's all I have for you uh, for today. It's now your turn to go look at nickmock 007s video. That link is going to be in the description as well as at the end of this video. Um, we have a survey that we want you to do. That's also in the description. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, send us an email. Uh, we, do, we do have a Science Alliance email also in the description or just leave a comment on the video remember to like and subscribe to both of our channels and as always thank you for watching